Hi, Above Life channel. Welcome. This week you will find a very, I hope, interesting conversation with a wonderful actress from the afterlife. We will be having a casual conversation, a dialogue with Ms. Marilyn Monroe. And if you haven't already done so, make sure you check out the transformative channel that I've done with Ms. Marilyn Monroe, where you can actually see her gestures, her vibration, feel her energy. A transformative channel is a unique style of channeling where I actually share energy space with the spirit in the afterlife. And she was a surprise. She was interesting to talk to, and I think you will find it very entertaining as well. So today I'm gonna to have a casual or follow-up conversation with her, a dialogue, to ask some of the questions that I personally am curious about, and I bet you're curious about too. Remember, the purpose of these afterlife interviews, the purpose of Above Life Channel, is to inspire your spirit and to fill you with hope. With that, I'd like to introduce Ms. Marilyn Monroe. And she kind of, I gotta say, as I was trying to sit here to get ready for this, <laughs> this interview, she takes my breath away. Like I feel her, Marilyn, I feel you in my heart, in my chest. I feel this incredible emboldened woman energy, this, this strong, strong vibe of woman, just confident and strength. And that is so prevalent right now in this energy space. And I, I feel kind of almost nervous to begin this dialogue, which is kind of ironic since we've actually shared energy space. And that was so much easier to just transformatively channel you and let you have the floor. But I want to do my best to describe to the viewers what I see, like how you're showing up. And so if you don't mind, I'm going to do that. She's actually sitting over here to the corner, to the side here. I actually set up a tall chair, so she's taller than me, um, as though she were being interviewed on a, some kind of a talk show or something. And of course, you know, she sits so perfectly. Her posture is impeccable. She just has a very straight, she's, it's as though her hips are the perfect base for her body, and then she sits up straight, and she's got curves, beautiful curves. She's voluptuous, she's, She's divinely feminine and she is beautiful. And I feel this incredible spirit, this confidence, this courage about her that I wanna share with you so you understand that. Although I know we have different understanding about Marilyn's, Marilyn Monroe's life, that the energy that she brings forward is one of strength, of incredible strength and like girl power, woman power energy. There's nothing girly about her. She's definitely a very powerful woman energy. And she seems so friendly too. Like she's like she right away it's like kiss kiss like I want to you know give me give me a kiss. Hi it's nice to see you. Oh hello 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 darling hello darling. I mean she's so she's pleasant. She's friendly. She's welcoming. She's easy to talk to. She's she's warm. She feels warm. You know, woman to woman, she's very friendly and welcoming. So thank you for that. She has a beautiful white, like a button up cardigan that feels kind of soft on with little pearl buttons. And then she has a, like a pencil skirt on. And it's like a pale, I think the pencil skirt looks like a light pale pink, very pale, like a, a blush pink. And then she has pumps, shoes with a little bit of heel that She's like, oh, look at the heel, darling. She's like kicking it out to show me that high heel. Very <laughs> nice high heel. Um, and they're pink blush too to match the skirt. So she's just beautiful. Just, you are so beautiful in your energy vibration. Just very beautiful. And she's like, oh, thank you. She's like, oh, thank you, dear. Thank you so much. Thank you. She's just so much gra gracious, very gracious. She's very gracious. So. All right, so. All right, so I have some questions for you. First, I want to know what do you think, which you don't, you know, there's no ego mind in the afterlife, but what is your unique spiritual perspective on people kissing your grave? Like I watched this video of an old, the old Hollywood cemetery, right? The Hollywood Forever Cemetery. And in the very beginning of Above Life Channel, I watched that video and that's kind of what springboarded me right into doing channeling was I was just drawn to this beautiful cemetery and your your uh, gravestone is against the wall and it's like this beautiful kind of marble ivory marble and there's 
all these, it's, it's like stained with lipstick. There's all these kisses on there. That's a tradition for people to kiss your grave. <laughs> How does that seem to you? <laughs> How do you take that? I mean, why do people do that? And, and how, do you, how do you perceive that as a spirit? And she goes, it's a lovely, isn't it wonderful? <laughs> she says, isn't it wonderful? It's so beautiful, she says. It's so beautiful. Everyone loves kisses, she says. Everyone loves kisses. <laughs> I'm like, wow. And she's like, what a beautiful um, momento. And what a beautiful way to share your love, she says. So she thinks it's beautiful. She feels like she's very gra gracious about it. And that's the word that I feel like is really a good way to describe it. I wanna say gratitude, but she says gracious, gracious. Just very appreciative of that. And she loves it. She feels the love is how she would say, yes? Yes, she says, yes. And like a beautiful deep fuchsia pink lipstick or a red, different hues of red and the different hues of vibrant pink is her. Although she said she was known to wear nude lipstick from time to time or a light pink, pale blush, but she much prefers the, the richer tones. <laughs> so if you're gonna kiss her grave, make sure you wear red or a deep pink <laughs> lipstick. That's wonderful. So now I have to ask you something else kind of interesting about that. So there was, um, it's kind of funny because there was uh, the, the spot next to your grave marker is where Hugh Hefner has been laid to rest. <laughs> and so he wanted to be right by Marilyn Monroe. How do you, what do you think about that? Hugh Hefner is like the famous Playboy Mansion guy, you know, the, the ultimate playboy you might say and he lived a very long full life you know and he only died recently in the last year or so and so what do you think about that people wanting to have it's felt like you have to wanting to be right next to you and she says even in the afterlife those men they just can't seem to leave me alone <laughs> and that's quite all right with me she said that's fine by me she says it's like she likes the attention she's totally fine with the attention and that just feels like again another source of vibration of love that's how it feels to me like she just she's 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 tickled by that she's pleased with that because of course men adore her you know and she's fine with that it's just another source of um of love and so the attention energy okay okay all right so I have another question for you, and the question is, what do you think about the drama? So I see I wrote some questions down, so I keep on track with you, Miss Marilyn Monroe. What do you think about the drama surrounding your death? You know, there's all sorts of conspiracy theories out there. And Marilyn, it's not just you, it's so many other celebrities too. I get a lot of questions about, you know, death and like a murder and foul play. And I get a lot of people that are just really kind of into that whole conspiracy stuff. What do you, how do you feel about the conspiracy theories surrounding your death? Now, let me just prelude this as well with, for you guys to know that if you haven't watched the transformative channel that I did, the trans channel with Marilyn Monroe, um, you need to know that she very specifically in that particular trans channel from her directly, she said that her death was an accident. So it wasn't anything that was nefarious or malicious or intentional, that it was kind of an accident, basically. So watch that video. So knowing that you were not murdered, and you can, do you want to affirm that? And she says, it's so silly. It's so silly. It's just so silly. It's silliness, she says. It's just silliness. All right, so, so is that what you think about the conspiracy, conspiracy theories around your death? Of course, it's just silliness, it's silliness. People should pay more attention to life. I mean, you would think. <laughs> right, she's like, it's just silliness, it's just silliness. And that's not, I, I get this very strong sense that that's not how she wants to be remembered, by how she died. You know, a dramatic exit by a dramatic actor, actress, she's like, that's not how I want to be remembered, no. I'd much rather be remembered for my acting, for my roles, for my movies. My movies, that's what she says, my movies. I'd like to be much, I'd much rather you remember me and focus on, enjoy my movies. 
So like the legacy of her death, it's not something that she, I mean, it's a human thing that people get fascinated or fixated with um, that point. I think it's because in general, death for us as humans, I think is this mystery. And so death can be kind of in and of itself a conspiracy like, was it time? Is it too early? Is whose fault is it? It's got to, we got to blame somebody because death is like this feared thing or this ending, this kind of perceived as a bad thing. And yet in our discussions here at Above Life Channel, we just reiterate with other celebrities, Marilyn, just like you, you guys ha tend to come in and reiterate the fact that death is like a moment in time. It's just a crossing over a bridge kind of a thing. And it does not define the life and it should not be the legacy of someone. Everything about you should not be defined by one moment in your life. Same with death. So I'll keep that in mind as we listen. All right, so it's silliness. Conspiracy theories around Marilyn Monroe's death. You heard from her, she said, it's silliness. It's just silliness. <laughs> All right, so let me ask this question. All right, so thinking about, and you described in great detail what it was like to transition, to cross over and to become fully spirit in the transformative channel video. You described that very well. Thank you for that. So now, could you describe for us maybe a little bit about what is it like in an afterlife? Like, what's it like just being a spirit? What is that? Can you give us some words or some examples that in our human little baby brains we could understand? Okay, so she's showing me pictures, images, almost like movie pictures. Like I'm watching a movie, of course, on the big screen. And it's like the sunrise over fields and there's gold and there's yellows and there's greens and those colors are so symbolic. That gold is your solar plexus, your spirit energy, the positive energy of your life, positive vibrations. That green is growth and opportunity and it just, it's growth, it's growth, it's growth. And, and then she's saying it's, it's a it's cycles. There are cycles, um, and it's all about. Okay, so she's showing me images, and I'm interpreting the images and the energy that she's sharing with me. She's not speaking. It's almost like a silent movie, but it's a beautiful scene, and it's it's a sunrise. It's not a sunset. Very specific sunrise. So that's very symbolic. It's the beginning, the beginning, the start. This refreshing kind of energy, like this new day energy, not stress, there's not anxiety, there's no place you have to go, there's nothing you have to be, there's not this pressure that you feel in your day-to-day -day life. However, okay, so I got that. All right, so there's none of that. So anything that plagued her in her human life does not, does not linger in the past life, like where you are right now. I mean, you've been, you've been crossed over into spirit world for a long time though. So, how how does it feel now for you? Like you're trying to describe it for people so that they know kind of how it feels like, but uh, so you're not carrying any baggage or you're not carrying any pain. I mean, you did definitely struggle with a lot of different things in your human life, like relationships, and there's a lot of pain points there. So in the afterlife, how do we how do we as humans come to terms with that? Or don't we? Because when we're spirit, does it, we just forget about that? Or how does that work? Talk to me about that. Because I see this beautiful imagery and this fresh start and this new beginning energy and not stressful. But help me to understand then what does everything just about our human life just get erased? All the pain just instantly go away? I mean, did it, did it for you? I know it's personal. And then she's saying no. She said no. It takes, it takes time. If you were to translate it into human terms, it would be time. She said, it takes time. And then she's showing me circles, lots of circles, lots of circles. So it's a cycle of healing. You have the opportunity to move through these cycles, these circles of healing. And she, circles of healing is what she's showing to me. She's not saying this. She's like showing me, like teaching it to me almost, like on a whiteboard, she's showing me circles. And, and she's saying it's like, it's like opportunity for, uh, you would say, she's saying, Bridget, you would say like growth or expansion. 
but how I would describe it as it cycles. It's just just like when you go through when you're a child and then you're a teenager and then you're a young adult and then you're a, a, a woman and then you're an older woman and then you're a really older woman and that's how she shows me like aging, like the aging process. But as a spirit, it's the issue or the pain, or the circum, she's saying, she's pointing to read this. She's saying, read this. They're showing it for me clairvoyantly, which means I'm seeing it in my mind's eye, in my third eye. And she says, read this, read this, circumstances. So you have the opportunity to, in the circle of the circumstance, you have the opportunity to heal that, to release it. So how does that work if you don't have like a brain to work through therapy and stuff? Like it's not like you're, you know, going to a counselor. And she's like, oh, it's quite like a counselor actually. Yes, it's quite like a counselor. It's an energy thing. You would describe it as energy. It's waves of energy. It's energy treatment to clear and release those painful points of your life. Those memories that you do not want to haunt you or you can never really be free. So. In the afterlife, you still have to work to be the fullest, complete version of yourself. To be a spirit, it's the best role of my life in the afterlife, she says. <laughs> it's the best role of my life in my afterlife. So does that process hurt? Or how does it feel? Like, do you have feelings about it? Since your mind doesn't process that way, do you have feelings about it? Interesting. Feelings are most certainly a part of that cycle of healing. Feelings are very much an important factor. So healing, okay, so healing and feelings are very connected. Yes? Yes, because they're connected to energy. This is the common bond between you and I, the energy vibrations. You consider energy vibration that bridge, and it's not something that the afterlife isn't completely different than the human life or the now life that you have. The afterlife is simply after this life. It's what's next. And yet, just as you've had, had experiences or memories that you maybe maybe painful ones, and you don't you don't want to hold that and have it take a valuable energy space for your spirit, you choose to move deeper into that circle and allow that to heal. And that, well, how that happens is love, pure love. And it's a self-love, a selfless love, a godlike love, a source of love that is hard to describe it, it, until you can feel it yourself. And it's hard to describe that. But that's what spirit is. That's what it's like to be in the afterlife. Just all of these opportunities and there's not restrictions, there's not restraints, but there's choice. You still have choice, but it's not with your mind and the free will, it's with the free spirit and it's with the energy. That's how everything moves and flows and connects. And that's how the feeling of things can still bring us into your realm. And it's really the feeling, Bridget, that people can connect to and relate to us as spirit in the afterlife. That's how they can relate. And isn't that fantastic? <sighs> that is the most interesting description of the afterlife that I've heard in talking about feelings and energy and how that's combined in the healing process as a spirit is great information. And I have not heard that specifically described like that before. So that is, thank you for that. And let me just be clear, Marilyn is very articulate and she is smart. She intelligent, she gets it. She knew, I mean, she very smart woman. And she's saying, thank you. Thank you for seeing me, she says, the whole of me. Thank you for seeing me, she says. You're welcome. See, she is a strong woman, I love that. Yes, yes. What a fantastic conversation this is. Oh my goodness, let me see if I have, oh, oh, I wanna ask one more thing before we wrap this session up because I know there's going to be people that watch this that are gonna to wanna to know more from you. And so I wanna give 
you watching a chance too to ask questions in the comments. Put some questions in the comments for future videos because I really like Marilyn Monroe and I will totally talk to her again, of course. And so one more question for this round, reincarnation. So can you tell us, are you reincarnated? And she says, what do you think? I think, I feel, Marilyn, and you tell me if I'm accurate on this because I'm feeling this as a psychic, I believe. I feel like you have been reincarnated, but for a short time, and then you went back into spirit. And I feel like, in part, the reason why you were incarnated for a short amount of time was to live through some kind of an experience to help you heal something and to help whoever you incarnated with, because I feel like it was a tandem thing, like you came in to someone else's life for a period of time, perhaps, and shared some experience so that you could grow and evolve and assist, almost like a spirit guide, but also for yourself, for your higher development. Is that true? So that would mean that you're not reincarnated right now, but you have been reincarnated. Is that true? She says, yes, all of the above. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I love it when I'm accurate. Yes. <laughs> all right. Sorry, guys. There's a part of me that still has an ego. You know, the ego brain wants to be accurate. You know, not always accurate. I'm not perfect. I'm a human. So. Thank you, Marilyn. Thank you so much. And oh, I just want to lean forward. She smells really good. I just want to lean forward. Almost like gardenia and something else, kind of an exotic perfume, but it's more flowery. It's not like a, a, a deep French perfume that's heavy or thick oily. It's a lighter flowery. So I'm just gonna, oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, you're so, oh, her energy is so beautiful. Thank you. Oh, Kisses, okay, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you so much, do you want to come in? Can you squeeze in? Can we do, we call it a selfie when you get close together. Let's see if you guys can feel her energy. Come on, get really close, come on, come on, come on. Come on, get really close, let's see if they can feel it. <laughs> can you feel it? Feel Miss Marilyn Monroe? Oh my gosh, I can feel her so strong, I'm gonna, oh my goodness, my eyes. Oh, teary, teary, oh, okay. All right. Oh, thank you, dear. Oh, thank you. Thank you, dear. Thank you so much. And she will definitely come back again. Put in the comments. Oh, that was kind of interesting. Wow, overwhelming. When I get really overwhelmed with energy, the emotion, the feeling, like she said, feeling energy, healing. I just really feel her really strongly. Beautiful, just beautiful. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure you like it. Please share it with someone that you know would benefit and totally enjoy the content or the person in this video, Ms. Marilyn Monroe. And also don't forget to click the subscribe button, that red bell to make sure you never miss a weekly channel. Put your questions in the comments for Marilyn Monroe for a future conversation. This is Bridget. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much for watching Above Life channel. Remember, it's your life. So live it. Thanks for being here.